My name is Dean Wood. I'm the Sales and Marketing Manager for Environor Systems Limited. We are a primarily manufacturer of industrial, commercial, agricultural, and more recently, residential fans. So our primary product is high volume, low speed ceiling fans, or what we call HVLS. These fans range in size from eight to 24 feet in diameter and are purposely designed to reduce energy consumption in buildings with heating or cooling. The concept of HVLS is not necessarily unique as there's a growing number of other manufacturers worldwide. Our product though has the defining features that differentiate us from the competition but it's our approach to the market is what really sets us apart. We aren't just selling a product, we're selling a solution, and with that solution is knowledge. Having a local presence inside each of our international markets is the key to our success. So proximity is always a challenge, but for Environors, we have uh, a lot of benefits that come with that as well. Our customer base is worldwide. It's not just to the local markets. So no matter where we are, we're close to our customers. Being in C4 provides us direct, ac direct access to our sister company, Sun North and Windtrans. And associations like HMA uh, provide a very strong foundation from which we're built on. The best part is, the people we employ are actually dedicated to seeing Environorth grow, now sharing in success that we've all created. When we're looking to expand, you need to keep in mind that every market is different from the next. So research, identify, and, and target your markets accordingly. Invest your time and resources, and be present and be patient. Expecting immediate returns is often unrealistic. Here in County's home, it's that simple. Uh, the people, the surroundings, they all provide the lifestyle that we cherish. Uh, being able to do this type of business so close to home is an amazing opportunity. It truly is unique. Being a part of HMA is an extremely important uh, task that we partake in here at Environorth. Being nominated to be represented amongst a group of uh, fellow nominees is, is truly special and we're quite appreciative of that. My name is Heidi Bailey. I'm the president of Ice Culture. I've been working here for almost 20 years. Um, part of the family business and, and, and in it for the long haul, I guess. Um, my main functions are sales and design, and of course, just general management duties that come along with running a family business. My name is Julian Bailey. I started the company with my late wife uh, about 30 odd years ago. We started it, we've always been in Hensel. We've been in a variety of buildings in Hensel, moving around and the place has expanded as we've expanded. We've been exporting for a long time but our export business started with our ice blocks um, back when transportation it wasn't quite as expensive as it is now and since that time we've actually graduated into doing more special events globally. We have exported to 57 different countries now it may be some tools to one it may be a big ice sculpture event at another but we have covered 57 countries since we've been in business. Um, my advice to companies wanting to expand in a general sense would be do not take any risks you really can't afford to take. So to be familiar with programs that the, the EDC, the Economic Development Corporation offer where they can ensure your shipments. Um, sadly, don't trust anybody. Get your ducks in a row before you send your product out the door. You're not in Huron County anymore. <laughs> I'd like to thank the HMA for this nomination. It's an honor to be among such a strong group of companies and we really appreciate your consideration and good luck to all the other nominees. I'm Roger Faulkner. Uh, I live in Hyde Park, Ontario and now I reside um, for 12 hours every day in Hensel. I've been in this industry since uh, 1968. Uh, which is pretty much my entire life. Came as a sales manager and then uh, in 2003-2004 I took over as president and in 2009 I bought the company. Uh, the rest is a little bit history. Been in Hensel for a long time, 1950 is when this place opened, and it, which makes us the only existing Canadian RB manufacturer that is still in the same location where we started. When I got involved in the industry in 1968, there were 84 different manufacturers producing RVs in Canada. Today there are six. The RV industry died in Canada over that period of time I just alluded to. And for a Canadian manufacturer, I believe you have to think outside that box every time you come, every day you come to work. And if we had stayed on the same course we were on for 40 or of those 60 years, uh, we wouldn't be here today. We changed uh, the course of the company really back in about 2005. Uh, we got out of the RV industry, RV, building RVs. 
and we built a, a product called Park Morals and we became one of the best in that particular side of our industry. Uh, there's only two of us building that particular product today and we happen to be five miles apart. How we got into the export business, again, we're looking for unique products and unique markets that uh, our other friends are not running at. And, you know, I have this thing that if you're going to be in business, you have to find a room that there, it's not very crowded. Uh, the less crowded in there, you have a better chance of making it, and even more so if you're a Canadian manufacturer. So we, uh, we were lucky enough to run into a company in Wales who approached us to build a particular product for them, and it's a product that is catered to the movie industry. Uh, theatrical trailers, we call them. And they're really units for the folks to have a cup of tea between shoots, uh, have a, somewhere to have a shower between shoots. Uh, they don't reside in them. Uh, this company has stuck through as, with us through thick and thin. Um, and I believe the reason for that is that we as Canadians build better product. Uh, we're known as building better product. Uh, and uh, so we've reinvented ourselves for them. We've reinvented their product. And uh, they want to be the best in Europe. And with our help, they're going to be the best in Europe. And they also want to be the biggest in Europe. And with our help, we're going to take them to that step as well. So we need to bring not only young people, we just need to bring people that want employment back to Huron County. I think a plus is that, you know, we're in a farm community and, uh, you know, not to label people, but uh, our workforce is pretty talented. Um, without them, we wouldn't be here. Uh, they're pretty important to us. Uh, you know, you and I were talking earlier, I think something like 15 or 20 percent of our workforce are women. Uh, and, uh, you know, I made a comment to you earlier that if a woman walked in that door, she's got a job because we've had unbelievable success with hiring women. We're happy with everyone we have and we would continue to pursue that. But the biggest problem is finding people, for sure. The fact that uh, the workforce that is here are talented, they know how to swing a hammer, they grew up with it, uh, we don't have to train them that much. Uh, it's just a lack of them, that's our, that's our problem. I don't want to build the same thing that's already in the marketplace. I want to be unique, I want to be the best, uh, and I want to stand back when I'm all done and be proud of what we've done.